Hey guys, so those of you who saw my last video will remember towards the end there was a bit of an accident which resulted in a smashed up Montipora. This is going to be a real quick video about what I decide to do with this. Right, so when I was putting my wave maker back in, essentially I knocked the magnet off and it fell and smashed up what was quite a nice fairly big Montipora Digitata so you can see here it's totally smashed it into little bits I was gonna have to frag this a little bit anyway um, just because it was getting seriously close when the um, glass cleaner was coming past but I didn't expect to be doing it like this so now let's just have a look at a few of the choices of what I've got and see which one I decide to go with okay so I think choice number one would just be to um, put these all on frag plugs and um, yeah kind of let them start and crust and then sell some on or put them around the tank I'm not sure I really want to do this I, I really would like to keep some uh, red digi here I'm just not quite sure the best way to go about it option two this would be to try and glue it back on mm. This doesn't always work, but I am quite tempted to try this just because I really, really like the way that it was coming out over there. Let's see what I can do. Right, so I'm just going to jump in for one minute because I'm aware that this idea of gluing corals back together sounds pretty crazy. Um, so I'm going to show you an example of a coral where I did this before and how it looks now. Here we're going to have to look at the Acropora that's all the way at the back. So I think the best way is we do this from above. And just give me one minute while I grab the viewfinder. So, whoop. there we go. This Acropora here was actually glued back together much earlier in its life. So, um, due to the proximity of the frag to the frag rack at the back, I often would catch it when I was working. And then one day I actually knocked a whole branch off it. So, you can see this bit which I'm going to label on the screen now, kind of on the right. Back when that was just um, a little tiny branch, I accidentally snapped it off. Um, and because it was the only bit of the coral that was kind of growing forwards into the tank and I was really keen to kind of maintain that look, um, what I did was I tried to glue it back on. Now, at this point, I really wasn't sure if this would work at all. Um, and you know it wasn't the cleanest gluing I've ever done but actually as you can see now you would have no idea really that that was glued I mean I think that piece of the coral maybe has a slightly different color um, to the rest of it but I'd say I think it probably just matches more with the rest of the new growth so um, kind of from this point my approach has been that actually gluing corals back together can work so I've often wondered what this coral is when I bought it. Um, it wasn't really labelled and it was actually dark purple at the time I got it. It was in a bit of a bad way and I was given a really good deal on it. Um, I believe it came from originally from TMC in the UK. But if anybody knows what this coral is, please leave a comment and let me know. So now we've decided on the gluing approach, let's get it out and get going. The first thing I do is dry off the coral a little bit on the ends where I need to apply the glue so that it adheres better. Next, apply glue to the end, trying to be careful not to get any on the sides. Be careful not to glue any fish. Take the coral that you've just glued and try and match it up as close as possible onto the one already in the tank. If you can keep it still for about half a minute, a minute, then it'll usually cure. Um, and hold itself in place. After that I did exactly the same thing for the second piece, applying glue and then carefully holding it in place until it's set. For the third piece I decided to use the construction epoxy from D&D instead, so it's a bit messy to prepare but it can be really handy for um, squeezing onto odd shaped rocks. There we go, all three pieces of coral are now glued into position. So you can see I put one of them back on here. I have no idea how that'll hold. If that does stay there, I am really impressed with my gluing skills because that is actually not resting on the other branch. So at first it was, but then I've moved it away and it 
seems to be holding at the moment so let's wait and see i mean when you do snap a coral like that it never fully um joins the colony back in the same way immediately it, it takes some time i mean in the long term i know these things usually do well because they'll grow back together and then it'll be as if it was always one but in the short term you know it has had quite a bit of disruption there and obviously i've been holding it a lot so i'm not sure over here I've been thinking about putting some red digi here for a little while, so this kind of just gave me the kick I needed to do it. This one, in order to get it to grow the direction I want, like kind of pointing up a little bit, um, I actually had to mount it upside down, so it might be getting a lot more light than before, so we'll have to see um, how it does. So I've now got the piece at the back there as well, which I think is going to be totally quite cool because it's going to... Um, it's going to kind of almost be like a cascade when they grow out a little bit. I'm actually quite a fan of having lots of the same coral spread around the tank. I think it makes it look more natural. Like in nature, you never just get like a complete selection of one of each. And it's, uh, I believe it's the same with gardening. You know, they always say put things in in like, you know, threes, fives, sevens. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see how they do. I mean, this wasn't meant to happen. Um, but hey, I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of fragging down here on this uh, Monty really soon as well. So, yeah. So, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. I know it's probably not the most polished video ever. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to share with you the, you know, the when things go wrong, not always just the big shiny stuff. I do have some exciting new stuff um, hopefully coming up on the channel soon because I've just ordered... Uh, a new piece of equipment. I won't tell you what it is yet, but it will um, really take this tank to the next level. So if you are interested in that, then uh, yeah, subscribe and I will be saying more in the next couple of weeks. So until next time on Indoor Reef, keep it stable, keep it fun and keep reefing.